So I am currently in Fort Hamilton, New York, which is actually in Brooklyn, New York, um, attending a seminar with the Institute for Defense and Business. Um, and we are going over dense urban uh, and strategic operations. Um, it is a wonderful experience. And today, which is actually like day, technically day three, but it's really like day two of learning. Um, we have our terrain walk uh, downtown. So you guys get to come along with me um, to, yeah, go, go check out uh, what downtown has to offer and how we can learn about operating in the, the dense urban uh, environment. So come along for the rest. Vietnam Veterans Memorial to start. It's just a couple blocks down from the World, the World Trade Center, the Empire State Building. Um, yeah. By the way, if anybody gets uh, marooned out here, just take the ye yellow line R. The yellow line just says to Brooklyn, not to the Bronx. Uh, it goes both ways. So we'll take the yellow line. So we're talking about how New York was originally called New Amsterdam and how all the buildings are architectured after uh, buildings in actual Amsterdam. Like this is going to show up on Google as a street that you can get to. The New York Stock Exchange. Where's my money at though? Why are you taking my money? Hey, we know these guys. It's the rest of my class. I'm about to run into a little girl. Wow. Like you're doing. You just rub her head. I did. <laughs> After September 11th, this whole area was roped off for civilians. You know, there was no civilians allowed below probably like Chambers Street. And if you were digging on the pile and you just wanted to take a break, you would actually come in like this was the pews were just lined with rescue and recovery workers just taking a little break, you know. Damn. So, wow. And I remember on the walls you had you know, people would put, uh, you know, messages you know of a loved one that they lost or something i mean this was pretty much a uh this was like almost like a makeshift command post you know Somehow it survived the collapse, and I don't. And this is actually the third location for this. They had it downtown for a while. I guess this could be its new permanent home. So the fire station right behind me, right there, is the original fire station 
that was right next to the Twin Towers it is still standing to this day and that is pretty remarkable. literally on the bridge. 1875. Okay, okay. I was like 18. <laughs> you're close, you're close. <laughs> 1875. People selling stuff on the bridge. How's it feel to be back home? Amazing. <laughs> I am so excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> know the drill. I gotta get a keychain while I'm here. Which like, I'm pretty sure that I already have a New York keychain. Probably like somebody probably gifted it to me. But um, it's always cool, you know, like if whenever I visit the place where I pick out a keychain. Um, but I'm always, always receptive of uh, People give me keychains to expand on my keychain board. So. Oh yeah. You can definitely tell we're in Chinatown. Everything's in Chinese. At least I think that's Chinese. Everything's in a different language. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Selling a lot of things from meats to fruits and vegetables, plants, gifts. <laughs> That's Clark. <laughs> Little Italy is down there. We're gonna go down there a little bit later. But for now, we gotta keep going down Chinatown. So they got a call.
Now walking down Little Italy, there's gelato, Italian restaurants everywhere. In case my phone dies, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. This guy's making fun of me. <laughs> and whenever you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I post. And I will see you in the next adventure. Bye! Hey! <laughs>